Today, I'm going to tell you 9 reasons why Japanese people are so thin. One of the lowest obesity rates in the world is in Japan. Global data epidemiologists estimate that Japan's obesity rate is only about 4%. However, the World Health Organization, WHO, states that obesity affects over 43.9% of Pakistani citizens. Number 1. Healthiest Foods You might be curious about which Japanese foods are high in protein and how they manage to include protein in every meal now that you are aware of the significance of protein and calories. Let's talk about the meals that Japanese people typically consume and the reasons why they make excellent additions to your diet. Rice, miso soup, salmon, and a couple pickled side dishes make up the typical Japanese meal. Although this appears to be a substantial meal for those trying to lose weight, these are actually light foods that are great for breakfast. Most importantly, I would suggest scaling back the rice since rice contains a ton of sugars and extra calories to your everyday admission. A half portion reduction can make a big difference. Next, adding miso soup to your meals is a great idea. Miso soup has just 40 calories, 2 grams of fat, 3 grams of carbohydrates, and 3 grams of protein in a single serving. This delicious, low-calorie soup is a great way to satiate for such a small amount of calories. Keep in mind that this is only one serving of miso soup, and be careful about how much you eat because 40 calories can quickly add up to 200 to 300 calories if you eat too much of it. Another normal food that Japanese individuals have for breakfast is salmon which is an incredible wellspring of protein and solid fats. Salmon fillets have around 200 calories, 21 grams of protein, 0 grams of carbohydrates, and 13 grams of fat per 100 grams. Salmon has a lot more fat than the majority of lean protein sources, so don't eat too much of it. I suggest not eating the salmon skin and decreasing how much oil you use to diminish how much buy and large calories and fat in your feast. While attempting to sort out which lean meat is best for you, utilize the 1 to 3 fat protein proportion to assist you with deciding this. While protein only contains 4 calories per gram, fat contains 9 calories per gram. Because of this, consuming an excessive amount of fat throughout the day can quickly push you over your TDEE. Lastly, the pickled side dishes are a great low calorie way to add fiber and volume to your meal. Another important nutrient that helps you feel full and aids in digestion is fiber. Vegetables are typically foods high in fiber because they are low in calories, go well with other dishes, and are the best foods to include in your diet. Number 2. No snacking Given that Japan has the most vending machines per capita in the world, this might come as a surprise. You might conclude from this that exotic snacks like wasabi Kit Kat and Coca-Cola Vanilla are occasionally consumed by Japanese people. However, the Japanese typically consume three healthy meals per day and completely avoid snacks. Snacks are consumed sparingly and in moderation by those who do. Then again, when the midday kicks in, Pakistanis go out in the roads to have a few seared quite hot samosas with mouth-watering chutneys. The smell and smoke of the kebab skewers fill the cities as the sun sets, and people stand in long lines, most of them breaking it, just to get a bite of a hot Sikh kebab wrapped in a fried paratha. Sounds good, but it's not very healthy. Number 3. Fast Food The Japanese people don't have much time or opportunity to cook a healthy meal at home because of their busy schedules. As a result, they do turn to fast food. Japanese fashion, however. Fast food in Japan is much healthier and more like home-cooked meals. It's important to remember that Japan is home to all of the well-known fast food chains like KFC, Burger King, and McDonald's. Despite this, the Japanese still prefer a traditional meal prepared at home because they were raised with nutrition in mind. In the interim, on the off chance that they can manage the cost of it, Pakistanis love eating broiled kebab rolls and velvety malai botis, all while tossing the junk of food boxes in the city subsequent to eating and yelling about how degenerate the public authority is. Number 4. Portion Sizes The term portion sizes is unfamiliar to most Pakistanis. 
Our Desi people like to eat a lot of food on a plate and eat it like there is no tomorrow. When attending weddings, even the so-called civilized leaders of the community experience short memory syndrome when their plates contain korma-soaked biryani and a tower of shirmals and taftans. Japan, on the other hand, adheres to the principle of portion control. Similar to the subcontinental thaw, the food there is served on multiple smaller plates rather than one large one. At a common Japanese supper time, the supper table may be loaded up with a collection of dishes, all packed with a wide range of nutrients. Number 5. Food as an experience. I wouldn't be wrong to say that the majority of Pakistanis only live to eat. Food is consumed quickly and without much thought. To temporarily satisfy your cravings, food serves the purpose of filling your stomach as quickly as possible. People who eat while distracted frequently overeat without realizing it. The Japanese, on the other hand, focus on savoring each bite by removing all distractions while eating. In Japan, dining is treated with respect, and formal dining tables are used. This permits them to see when their stomachs are full and forestalls gorging. Number 6. Low Calorie Foods You can immediately identify a Japanese lunch if you have seen those adorable bento boxes that are packed with delectable food combinations. Not only are these extremely appealing, but they are also a joy to make. You're in luck because Aspire Fitness has a YouTube channel where you can learn how to cook healthy and delicious Asian dishes. To make your own healthy bento box in the style of Japan, check out our healthy bento box series. Rice, an assortment of vegetables, eggs, and a lean meat are typically included in a bento box. Similar to the previous section on breakfast, you can increase the number of vegetables and reduce the amount of rice in your bento box. Asparagus, cherry tomatoes, broccoli, carrots, and lettuce are incredible accommodations for your bento box and furthermore add an extraordinary pop of variety. Boiled or fried eggs are also a common item in bento boxes. One enormous egg is around 70 calories with 5 grams of fat, 0 grams of carbs, and 6 grams of protein. Egg is viewed as a food high in fats, so make an effort not to eat an excessive number of in one dinner. A single egg is a great way to get some protein into your meal, but eating too many can make your daily calories go up. At long last, picking the right wellspring of meat for your bento box is critical. When you include lean meats like chicken breast, tuna, or lean beef in your meal, you get a good amount of protein that keeps you full. Reduce the amount of low-calorie sauces or dipping sauces you use for your meats. Low in calories and containing protein, soy sauce is an excellent condiment. Number 7. Tea A great deal of tea is consumed. Hot, cold, lukewarm, day, night, inside, outside, breakfast, lunch, supper. Alright, you understand everything. In any case, the practice of bringing one's own teacup to school for each child from birth onward is one that endures into adulthood. Loaded with cell reinforcements, I'm almost certain everybody at this point knows about green tea and its well-being slash weight reduction delights. Number 8. Desserts aren't as sweet. Most Japanese dinners don't end with a treat, and when they do, it's nothing basically as sweet as our treats cakes, and frozen yogurt in the U.S. Instead, desserts consist of fruit, rice, and even red beans to maintain a low overall sugar intake. In like manner, soft drink is a lower need. In the United States, it's hard to imagine a restaurant meal without a Coke, but an Asian diet emphasizes green tea instead. According to Medical News Today, Green tea is loaded with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties that help maintain a healthy digestive system in addition to reducing sugar consumption. Number 9. Japanese Cities Designed for Walking Since most Japanese cities were built long before cars were invented, most were designed with foot traffic in mind. Living in Seoul, Tokyo, and other significant Asian urban areas implies you will walk kilometers every day to get around even to get to public transportation. 
Even though you may not consider walking to the subway station to be exercise, taking those extra steps each day results in more calories being burned. Thanks for watching. See you next video.